Hello to all the participants and to the team of the 12th Bangalore Short Film Festival 2023. I'm Suraj, I'm an independent filmmaker from Bangalore and uh, my project's name is Bangalore, a city of lost lakes and it's a documentary. The idea of this film uh, came up when I had a thought of giving back something to the society uh, using my passion. So you learn a lot of things from nature, you take a lot of positive things from people around you. So I felt uh, probably this is time using a powerful medium like cinema, I, I have to, which is also my passion, I have to give back something to the society. And that's when I decided I'll do a documentary film this time instead of a fictional film. And uh, like I said, I'm an independent filmmaker and I work with small teams and that small teams always keeps changing because I work with people. I like to collaborate to create great content. So sometimes we keep money out of the equation. We come together for a good cause. And for the same reason, the financial or human resources uh, to pull off this project was very limited and that was a challenging part. And I can even recall an instance where uh, I had a broken leg and uh, before it was completely healed, I set out on a motorbike. Uh, I traveled around 35 to 40 kilometers to capture content for this documentary. Um, I was going to the different lakes of Bangalore to capture the content. So uh, uh, that was a challenging part with, rela with relation to the financial or human resources of this project and I believe it's very important to work with a small team although uh, that's a USP uh, of my documentary. Uh, I believe uh, working with a small team would always give you uh, opportunities uh, to, to shoulder different roles at one go. You yourself become the director, suddenly you yourself become the casting director, you yourself become the cinematographer, you yourself become the actor. So on a learning perspective, it's a great uh, thing to work with a small team. Uh, so like I said, uh, I would say it's both the uh, positive and the negative. Uh, it's the same thing. Uh, lack of financial or human resources uh, so but for me personally I believe that working with a small team and with limited financial or human resources would make you a better filmmaker or efficient filmmaker uh, so uh, I had actually visualized um, um, the, the shoot and this whole project is going to be really easy uh, because I thought there's no actors involved there's no dialogues involved so I thought it's going to be really less time I'm going to be taking to complete this project but uh, over a period of time I realized each genre of films have its own positives and negatives so although there were no actors or dialogues involved I realized during this project that it's even more difficult to visually communicate to the audience what I'm trying to convey through this film without any dialogues or actors so I uh, also recall an instance wherein I was trying to fly a drone uh, nearby the lake and uh, coincidentally the wall of the lake and uh, the government organization called DRDO as you would be knowing Defense Research and uh, Development Organization. Um, so since they, it, there was a common wall between the lake and the DRDO I was uh, uh, questioned by some of the cops on the spot on what's my intention so what I'm trying to say is when you do a documentary uh, you also have to make sure you're not insulting or provoking any civic authorities you're not maligning any uh, authorities reputation or you're not maligning the reputation of a city like Bangalore you also uh, need to make sure that you are bringing out uh, what you want to show and uh, making sure that the public or the audience really understand and realize the grim situation of the lakes in Bangalore. So all of this were, I would not say all of this were challenges, it was uh, a great learning for me uh, by doing this documentary. This is the first documentary I'm doing, so um, these were the things I wanted to share. Like I said earlier, uh, I really felt the urge to give something back to the society and that's how this documentary came up instead of uh, doing a <laughs> fictional film. So on the same note, I hope this film is well received by the public 
and they do their due diligence in saving the dying legs of Bangalore. Uh, and if you want to reach out to me, uh, please send an email to suraj.ramakrish at gmail.com. I'll repeat that for you. S-O-O-R-A-J dot R-A-M-A-K-R-A-S-H at gmail.com. So once again, thanks to all the participants and especially uh, a big thanks to the team to make this uh, festival happen. Thank you, everybody. Have a good day ahead.